So as you guys can see, I'm in a different room right now. This is our master bedroom. It is a separate bedroom from my studio. Um, there is a bed in my studio, so I use that as the guest bedroom when people stay over or sometimes if I want to take a nap, <laughs> which is a lot of the time, I will sleep in my studio for a quick like 20 minute power nap. But yeah, since I was so pumped up <laughs> cleaning my studio, I was like, I'm gonna clean the rest of the house. So I cleaned the bedroom as well, and since it is clean and you guys are already here, I thought I would give you a quick tour. That is my studio over there as you can see, and here when we first step inside the bedroom, we have a few of my older paintings. So this one I did, let's look at the timestamp, it is uh, September 2014, wow, so over two years ago, um, this one... I think uh, April 2015 so a little less than two years ago um, it's really cool to see old work I, I know I have these hung up but until this tour I have never actually taken the time to step up really close to them and look at all the little details this is a portrait of Brigitte Bardot who is a beautiful um, classic Hollywood actress this is a pink and blue nebula. I was I was going through this phase. I was obsessed with nebulas. Everything had to have a nebula. Um, up here are two of my pieces. I don't know if you guys remember or have been following me this long, but I did a whole set of four, uh, the four seasons, and two of them already found homes. Yay! So only these two are left. This is spring, and I actually was inspired, or I used uh, for my muse here, uh, Aaliyah, who is one of my favorite singers, and I'm so sad that she died so early, but I'm still so inspired by her beauty and her humility and her talent, so I used her for this painting. It's titled Midnight in Spring, and it's Sakura, Bro Sakura Blossoms, which bloom in the spring. And this one here is Summer Romance, so I used flowers that bloomed in the summer, and they're irises and forget-me-nots. Let's see, I did these, I actually don't have the time, oh wait. Uh, I do have the date stamped here. This was done in sep uh, October 2015, so over a year ago, a little over a year ago. And this, for this girl, I think I used, oh, you know what? I think I used Ruby Rose as my muse for her. This is back when I did very realistic face proportions, so. Um, this is Ruby Rose. I think she did a photo shoot from Maxima or something where she had long blonde hair and, and we're so used to seeing her with like short black hair and she looks super sexy like that but I thought her with long blonde hair was so graceful like she looked like a goddess so yay Ruby Rose fan! Over here you guys saw this piece in my art studio tour from a while back. I have not made any upgrades to it. I really need to finish it. It's supposed to be a funky self-portrait of me and my two cats. And this painting I did in February of 2015, so almost two years ago, and of course it is a nebula. Um, my muse for this is a Belarusian model, her name is Tanya Diagaleva, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but she's so sweet, so I actually found her on Instagram and she um, shared this photo and then she messaged me, like she was just like, oh thank you for painting me, your art's so beautiful, so very sweet and beautiful girl. Um, yeah, I love her face, it's so unique, so I used her for this piece and probably a few others as well. These two are prints, this is Daydreamer and Unicat, so both of these pieces I've sold. Um, whenever I sell pieces, I like to make prints of them to keep them in my house. Um, my boyfriend and I are huge fans of Adventure Time, so kept this print here for memory's sake. And this is actually an original drawing I did a long time ago. Uh, I think it's colored pencil and pastel. And it's of um, the girl from the fifth element, Lilo? Lilo. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I was experimenting with like kind of more photorealism for the face and a more like pop art comic style for the rest of the piece. I thought it'd be a really interesting mesh of different styles. This is our bed. It is a king size bed and I believe we got the frame from Wayfair or All Modern. It was actually on sale for a really good price. Uh, my boyfriend and I love to decorate our house but we also love good deals so everything you see here is actually quite inexpensive. Um, let's see, the bread spread, I think it's honestly Ikea. A lot of these things are Ikea. I know this is Ikea, this is Ikea, these plants are Ikea. Uh, these little side tables I think are super cute. They're um, 
yellow and black. I think they're really like more mid-century modern and I think we got that on allmodern.net. These lights are from West Elm. They have super interesting, neat little Edison bulb, which I think gives off a really nice, almost nostalgic light. So this is my boyfriend's side of the bed, uh, but let's go to my side of the bed. So we have the same nightstand, the same plant. I have my glasses that I use at night, and then my battery pack that I always keep charged, and that's what I plug my phone in. I always have a bottle of water because I get thirsty in the middle of the night. And that is about it for my side of the bed. And over here we have a desk that never gets used. I mean, never. We originally built it so my boyfriend could do work stuff here, like on his computer, but he prefers to sit there and do it on the bed with a bed full of dogs and cats at his feet. So yeah, this desk has just become basically a storage desk. Like I lean a lot of my old frames in here. Um, we have some pretty interesting work, art on the, uh, desk we have this old painting that I did a while back in August 2015 It's of our um, we had a fish that passed away that looked just like that the breed is called royal grandma and a jellyfish Just for fun like a funky space jellyfish. This was again through my nebula obsession phase and little um, Corals because my boyfriend loves reef tank stuff So I just gave him this painting for no reason just for fun and then this is a cool artwork we got at Sketch Tuesdays, which is this fun live art drawing event in downtown San Francisco. The artist's name is Mark Adam Music. He's really talented. Uh, so we, this is actually an original we bought from him. Uh, he and I sat next to each other at the artist table at Sketch Tuesdays. So really nice guy. Love to support other artists. And uh, up here, we still got to decorate this space, but up here we have my Adventure Time painting that I also painted for my boyfriend as a gift. As you can tell, if you're an artist, um, a lot of the gifts that you end up giving to your loved ones are <laughs> art. So again, it's more Adventure Time because we're a huge fan. And I just made this up myself, so I just um, drew the two characters holding each other with um, the Ice Kingdom in the background and cotton candy trees and a pastel sunset and the clouds are actually our four animals so this is Molly Mushroom the two dogs and Boogerface and Juan Juan the two cats I just thought it was a nice little present for him and yeah I actually did not use any reference for this I just studied a lot of different pictures and composited something together so it's really nice to challenge yourself every once in a while to not use any reference and see what you come up with here are some tiny frames. These are all 5x7 or smaller. I've collected these over the years at various stores. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do with them because lately I haven't really enjoyed painting things that small, but I really think soon I'm going to do something special with them. Like maybe make a bunch of small paintings and put them in the frames and make the paintings tailored to the frame so that they look really nice together and probably sell them. Look who decided to join us. It's Mr. Hoi Hoi. Hi baby. I thought I might as well give you guys, since I'm in a tour mode, give you guys a quick tour of this area. This is my, this leads up to my art studio. Um, a lot of you wondered what was behind the sliding doors when I did my art studio tour. Oh, hello baby. Hi, Quinn, Quinn. So this is basically, I think it was supposed to be a TV unit that we got at Ikea, but we repurposed it for my art supplies. Um, on top here, I have the artwork by a lot of my friends. Um, I love supporting artists and I'm so grateful to have a lot of awesome artist friends. So here is a painting, oh, it's a print by Red Wilitsky, and I put her in this Pu uh, beautiful little ornate frame. These two prints are done by my friend Lioba from Germany. She actually painted me, which I'm super honored and it's so surreal to be painted by artists. Like she's so talented. She made me look way cooler than I look in real life. And behind here is a print that I bought to support my friend at Realm XX. You guys all know her probably because we are very vocal about our friendship. So she is so talented. Look at this, it's gorgeous. And over here is actually a drawing that she did of me, which I think is so cool. Um, I should totally dye my hair pink because this looks so awesome. And she grew me, or she drew me with, oh, she drew me with crystals growing out of my face, which is so trippy. I mean, wow, she is so talented. I, it's such an honor to be painted by people. Here is a little mushroom that I think we got at Target because I love mushrooms. 
And these two, so this painting here, you guys have seen before. Um, I have a time lapse for this on my YouTube video. I did this a while ago. I thought it complemented the gold frame really well. Here, I still need to frame her. Um, I really want to sell her too because she deserves a good home. But this painting is called Constellation. And um, she is, uh, I guess, on omnipotent. I feel like I wanted to make a girl who can like see the future and and so that's why she has a third eye. This one is a beautiful painting done by Tina Yu, who's another good friend of mine. Um, I love she put glitter in here and she used my face as inspiration for this, which also is so trippy to think about. I love what she did with her style and all the um, Asian fabric and hands. Like She's so creative and so talented. So definitely check her out if you guys like this type of art. And a little plant which has died. Um, I think this was supposed to be a succulent, but um, I don't. I don't think I put enough. Put it enough. Um, put it near a window with enough sunlight. So all that's left are these dried mo mosses. And here we just have all my art books. So I'm gonna be releasing a video soon of all of my favorite art books, and I will be flipping through these and showing you guys what's inside. But yeah, super cool. And inside these cabinets is a lot of my shipping supplies. I keep them stored here very neatly. So all my plastic sleeves and things like that. That is about it for my, I guess, extra art storage unit. I know, it's so interesting, right? Oh, and here, almost forgot. Here are all the frames that I have currently, um, some of them are from flea markets, some of them from antique fairs, so from an eclectic uh, eclectic number of sources. I like to collect frames, so when I have free time, I like to go frame shopping, and if I see one I like, I pick it up, and it stays here waiting to be used. Hi, hi, hi. And my cat loves using it as a mechanism to scratch his chin, so thank you. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through I used to